Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Christina. And so today we're gonna to be working on a strong vinyasa flow. Lots of strengthening, lots of flexibility work. So if you have any sort of yoga background practice, this will be the perfect video for you. So let's get started. All right, lovelies, let's start off with our feet together at the top of our mat. We're gonna navel into spine, extending arms into chair pose. Ukatasana this is our warm up. Exhale, forward fold. Think chest towards your thigh, head towards your shin. Inhale back into your chair pose. Engage the core. Good, inner arms in line with your ears. Exhale back into forward fold. Uttasana into Uttasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale back into chair pose. Good, navel into spine. Exhale, forward fold. Good, we're gonna inhale, come back into your chair pose. Exhale here, go a little deeper. Inhale, come into your mountain pose. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Okay, so the flow, we're gonna start off. I'm gonna go each step one by one. We're gonna inhale into Uttasana. Good, inhale. Exhale, bring your right knee in towards your chest, so half Tadasana. Good, and then we're gonna swing our arms into Crescent Lunge. So back leg straight, knee on top of the ankle, right? Good, then we're gonna swing our arms into Warrior three, back in the lower belly. Mm -hmm. Everything's in line. Then we're gonna go right into, back into half Tadasana. So you wanna find your focus right in front of you, extend through all four sides of your torso, and then we're gonna step down with our right foot into chair pose. And then we're gonna lift our left knee up into half Tadasana. So we're switching sides, swing those arms into crescent lunge. Good, extend through all four sides of your torso. Suck in the lower belly into your warrior three. Extend the arms back, press into your heels, engage the core, crown of head reaches forward. Good, we're gonna go right into half Tadasana. Find your balance, knee in towards your chest, extend through all four sides of your torso, back into chair pose. And then you come into Samasthiti. Yep, so that's the, that's the flow, all right? Okay, we're gonna do it three times on each side. So you know, we're gonna switch from right to left. All right, here we go. Inhale, go into your chair pose, all the way into half Tadasana, into your crescent lunge, open up the chest, go into your warrior three, good. And into half Tadasana. Lift, 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 off that hip, go into your chair pose. Left knee goes up into half Tadasana, so we switch sides. Left foot goes back into crescent lunge. Open up the chest, exhale, go into your warrior three. We're gonna keep that back leg straight. If it's a bend, it's okay. Now we're gonna go right into half Tadasana, left knee in towards your chest. Exhale, come back into your um, chair pose. Inhale, right knee goes up. Go into your crescent lunge, all the way into your warrior three. Keep that back leg straight and engage into your half Tadasana. Back into your chair pose. Inhale, left knee goes up. Exhale, go into your crescent lunge. Open up your chest, all the way into your warrior three. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, go back into your <laughs> half Tadasana and then bring your foot down into chair pose. Inhale, right knee goes up, all the way into crescent lunge, open up the chest, all the way into your warrior three, extend through the back foot. Good, keep that leg engaged, all the way in, find your balance. Right knee in towards your chest, half Tadasana, right foot goes down. Left knee goes up into crescent lunge. Good, open up the chest all the way into your warrior three. Good, so you wanna find the balance. 
like a seesaw, right? Head goes forward, toes reaching back into your happy asana. And then seal it, finish it into chair pose. Inhale, come into your mountain pose. Arms are straight, legs are straight, navel up the spine. Exhale, hands towards your heart. Yes, that was fun, right? That should have gotten you warmed up. We're gonna go right into the next flow. Inhale, go into your chair pose. Name up to spine. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, half fold. Open up your chest. You're gonna bend your knees, come into a downward dog. Name one to spine. Good. Gonna bring your right knee in towards your chest and then go back into your downward dog. Left knee comes in towards your chest. Go back into your downward dog. Good. Right knee goes into your chest. Come back, downward dog. Knee in. Downward dog. Knee in. Downward dog. Knee in. Good. Downward dog. Okay, so next thing you're gonna go into your upper facing dog. And then you're gonna come back, curl your toes under, go back into your downward facing dog. Good. So you're gonna go back, you're gonna extend and press shoulder blades away from each other. You're gonna right into shoulders on top of the wrist into your upper facing dog. Try and get your knees off the mat, point your toes back, shoulder heads up and back. And then curl your toes under, go back into your downward dog. Okay? All right, so the next part is right knee in toward your chest, right foot in between your hands, seal that back heel down. Anjanasana, inhale, extending arms overhead, okay? Good, exhale, bring your hands back down. Good, curl your back toe under, lift your back knee, and then go back into your downward dog, okay? I'm gonna do the left leg, left leg goes up, Left foot goes in between your hands, seal that back heel down, uncurl your toes, inhale into Anjanasana. Open up the chest, hips forward and down. Exhale, forward fold. Curl your back toe under, straighten out that back leg. Bring your left foot to meet your back foot into downward dog. Okay, so this is it. Right knee in towards your chest, come back into your downward dog. Go into your upper facing dog, Open up your chest. Exhale, go back into your downward facing dog. Right foot goes up. Right knee goes in between your hands. Seal that back heel down. Uncurl your toes. Open into Anjanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Curl your back toe under. Bring your right foot to meet your left. Back into your downward dog. Yep. Left knee in towards your chest. Go back into your downward dog. Into your upper facing dog, open up your chest. Exhale, go into your downward dog. Left foot goes up, third legged dog. Bring your left foot in between your hands, seal that back heel down, uncurl your toes into Anjanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Second the lower belly, bring your left foot to meet your back foot. Okay, right foot goes in, go back into your downward dog into your upper facing dog, open up your chest, exhale, downward facing dog, lift your right leg up, right knee in between your hands, seal that back heel down, inhale into Anjanasana, open up your chest, exhale, forward fold. Come back, right foot goes in, into downward dog, we're gonna do the left knee, come back into downward dog, Go into your upper facing dog, open up your chest. Exhale, downward dog. Lift your left leg up, left foot in between your hands, seal that back heel down. Inhale into Anjanasana, open up your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Good, left foot meets into downward dog. Right knee in, exhale back. Inhale into your upper facing dog, open chest. Exhale into your downward dog. Lift your right leg up, right knee, right foot in between your hands. Seal that back heel down. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot steps, I mean, curl your back toe under. Go into your downward dog. Left knee in, 
left leg back. Good. Then you're going to go ahead into your upper facing dog. Open up your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Left foot in between your hands. Seal that back heel down. Inhale into your Anjanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Curl your back toe under. Close step into your downward dog. Last one, right knee in. Right foot back. Round your spine. Go into upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up. Right foot in between your hands. Seal that back heel down. Inhale, upper facing dog. Open up your chest. Exhale. Right foot meet. Left knee in. Left foot back. Shoulder blades away from each other. Into upper facing dog. Exhale. Curl your toes under. Downward dog. Lift your left leg up, left foot in between your hands. Seal that back heel down. Inhale, extend the arms overhead. Open up your chest, exhale down. Curl your back toe under, go back into your downward dog. Good, seal the back heel down. Good, and go into child's pose. Good, take a deep breath here, deep breath out. Inhale, exhale. Good, last one, deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, you're gonna slowly roll yourself up. You're gonna rotate your fingers to the side so we can stretch out our wrists. So I gave you two flows today. Now you can work and do that in the morning, afternoon, or at night. Get your body warmed up. Nothing too crazy, it's definitely achievable. Doesn't take a lot of time if you're out of, not don't have much time in your schedule it can be a good exercise to warm up your body stretch it out yep that come back to center you're just going to do a circle keep your arms straight shoulder blades away from each other do a circle all the way around loosen up your wrists and then we're going to do the other side good now you're going to spine very nice and then come back to center good we're gonna go ahead and gonna sit on your butt here. I'm just gonna do some stretches. Right foot in, right inside your thigh. Extend the arms overhead. Grab your foot, the left hand grabs on the outside of the foot here, and extend, twist. You feel a stretch in your side. Open up your chest towards the sky. Good, and then you're gonna come back. And we're gonna do the other side. Good, right foot extends. Left foot in the inside of your thigh. Extend the arms overhead. Right hand on the outside of the foot. Twist the body, extend the arm up and over. You feel that stretch. Good. And then come back to center. I'm gonna go ahead and cross the legs. Sit up nice and tall, feel your tailbone. I'm gonna sit up, palms either facing up or down. I'm gonna need to roll your shoulder blades in and down your back. So loosen up your shoulders. Yep, and then we're gonna go ahead and roll our shoulders forward. Good. Nice, and then we're gonna do a big roll, shoulder heads up, shoulder blades in and down your back. And then we're gonna circle, so drop the head to the side, front, side and back. All the way around. Good. And then we're gonna do the other side. Circle all the way forward, side and back. Good. And we'll come back to center. Good, we're gonna take our hands, interlace your fingers, open up your chest, elbows in. And then round the spine, chin to chest. Good. Inhale, open up your chest, elbows out. Feel that stretch from your breastbone and your shoulders. Exhale, bring your hands to all the way down. Good. I want you to take a deep inhale and then exhale, allow that energy to flow all the way through your body with ease to rele release and let go any, any blockages or energy that you're penting up in your body. I want you to let it out. Inhale through the nose and then exhale, release it out. Good. 
Just think of something you're grateful for, bringing gratitude in your thoughts, and just seal those thoughts into your heart. Thanks for joining me today in this yoga flow. Catch me in my other videos that I've posted. You might find something that will resonate with you. But please like, subscribe, comment, share, so then you can catch my other videos that I'll be posting in the future. Thank you again. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.